guys! So my friend and I decided to go shopping and we got some new toys and wood shavings for the pets. So today we're going to show you how to achieve a natural lock in your pet's cage. It's fun for your pet and exciting for you to watch. It will help keep your pet in healthy condition and will ensure that they will never be bored again. As you can see, we have decorated for Easter, but on the outside of their cage, to make sure they can come to no harm. First of all, remove all old bedding and toys and thoroughly cleanse the cage using pet safe disinfectant. Don't forget the water bottle. Use a bottle brush to clean this. When completely clean and dry, add a layer of substrate. We use safe, kiln dried and dust extracted wood shavings. Perfect for digging tunnels. Add about two inches to the bottom of the cage. Maybe add some chew toys for them to dig and find. Also, willow sticks make great chew toys for all small pets and can be found at any good pet shop. Continuing, add wooden tunnels and tubes and dens. If you don't have any of these, you can use cardboard boxes and toilet paper tubes. Just make sure there's no sellotape or glue on the cardboard before you use it. Now add another layer of substrate. You can use any substrate such as wood shavings, Carefresh or Fitch. Just make sure it's safe. And add at least 6 inches of the chosen substrate to the bottom of the cage and make sure it covers all the tubes and toys you just added so they can enjoy tunnelling down to find them. Add a few toys on top of the wood shaving items, as such as bendy bridges, toilet paper tubes and large clean glass jars, which make great hides and are very inexpensive. Then add large amounts of timothy hay for them to nest with. If you like, you can put it in their new hideaways too, like the glass jar. If you're designing this cage for a hamster, however, of any breed, don't use hay or straw, as it can rip their delicate pouches. Instead, use non-scented, ripped up toilet paper or tissue. Next, add the essentials, such as a sand bath, as it looks natural and your pet will enjoy cleaning themselves in here. You can use chinchilla sand, but not chinchilla dust, as it can get in your pet's eyes. Don't forget to place a mineral chew in the cage. Also, don't forget to add a water bottle and ensure that it's washed and refilled daily. And add a wheel, wooden ones can be found at larger pet stores and online. Add a food bowl, however if you choose, you may wish to scatter the food around the cage. This will stimulate your pet and encourage their wild side. Don't forget small treats as such as seed bells or milky bones, they are great for their teeth. If you follow all these steps, you too can have a fun and natural looking cage for your pet. But don't forget to clean them out once a week if it's a smaller tank and twice a week, twice a month if it's a larger tank. We hope you enjoyed seeing how to make this lovely cage. Please rate, comment and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.